Hey everyone, it's Maria Noe with the Strip View Live Success Talk Show, and I'm here with Paul Huffman from Success Songs. What an interesting company. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, a musician, composer, speaker, and author, and uh, I've created a, uh, a business around writing music that inspires and empowers people to take action in their lives so that they can create the success that they want. Yeah, Paul, this is such a unique niche, and I think you've, you've got it. You probably have this entire market. Tell me, how did this come about? Well, you know, I uh, for years, um, I've been in the music business for years, but I was uh, very big in the uh, advertising world. I wrote a lot of uh, songs for advertising, oh. one being a very uh, uh, famous one that's in the top ten of Hall of Fame called Have You Driven a Ford Lately? Oh, wow. And um, a lot of my friends were in the personal development world, and I was invited to their seminars, for people like Harbecker, oh, yeah. Mark Victor Hansen, and so forth. So when I'd go to their seminars, they'd all come on stage to the song Simply the Best, which was a great song, but I'd always think of Tina Turner. Right. And I said, geez, I wonder why they don't have their own music. And so I went up to Harv Ecker and I said, hey, Harv, you really need your own song that will inspire your audience to take action in their life, to connect with their dreams, their hopes, their visions, their calling, and, and I'll write it for you. He said, that'd be great. So the first song I wrote for him was a song called I've Got a Millionaire Mind, ah. which is a song that really breaks down any kind of resistance people have to the thought about money and really empowers them to realize that they can have anything because anything's possible. And since then, I've written songs for him, more songs for Harv, Jack Canfield, Mark Victor Hansen, John Asaroff, Marcy Scheimoff for her book, Happy for No Reason, Chris and Janet Atwin, the list goes on and on and on. Well, what is the process when you're sitting down and, and creating the music? Are you getting feedback from the people that you're writing it for, or is it kind of like in the middle of the night or in the shower that you get this inspiration and then you have to go write it? Well, what I do is I, I come up with a concept. You know, after talking to my clients, I come up with a concept and I, I try to design each and every song so that it's a teaching in itself and that it really will be the kind of thing where when you listen to the song, you become so enthused that you follow the practice of what the song's talking about. Do you do any work with the subliminal side of, in the music? You no, know, a lot of people ask me that. Yeah. And the, 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 the truth of the matter is the only subliminal part of the music that I write is, is that it comes from my heart. Oh, wow. So what's your uh, website? My website is uh, successsongs.com, which is S-U-C-C-E-S-S-S-O-N-G-S.com. I'm also working on success songs for kids, success songs for teens, because I believe that what you put in from a standpoint of what you listen to, what you read, what you watch, what your relationships are, yeah. is really how your life is going to be showing up and, and how all the good that you really are will manifest.